What's up everyone? So today's video we're going to be going ahead and hopefully uh, getting something done that uh, you guys if you watched the previous video we were having issues with loading the tune to the TCM so what I did was I went ahead and brought it to Dodge, Ram, whatever, Mopar, I brought it to the dealership um, and what I did was I managed to speak to a sales or not sales but a service rep and I got them to combine the two or at least one outstanding recalls with what I needed done. So um, spoke to HP tuners. They said there was some stuff stuck in the in the computer, uh, in the PCM, TCM, ECM, all those, and there was a uh, Diablo Sport tune still stuck in there, and that was causing issues. And that apparently is why I couldn't load the HP tuners tune. So that's according to them. So what I did was there is the cruise control recall. So what I did was I combined the cruise control recall since they have to flash the PCM, uh, the engine side of it at least. Um, I told them to completely erase or write over top of whatever was in the TCM, the transmission control module, and also the ECM, engine control module. So apparently both of them have been flashed back to stock on the latest you know, Dodge or Ram firmware. So what we're gonna do is we got the truck back, it's right here, and to go ahead and pull it in, and we'll get this in the garage. I got my laptop bag over there. We'll go ahead and we'll pull it in and we'll try to read the tune. So what we're going to do is extract and do a clean read um, of whatever software is currently programmed in the truck from RAM. And then uh, if all goes well, if that read is correct, we'll send that off to Jay Green and he'll be able to um, rewrite the tune and then if all goes well, cross your fingers that it loads and we're good to go. So. This thing, um, I want to talk about this in another video, but this is just kind of parked right now. Um, it is at a commission. It still drives, but um, there's some issues that we'll probably be tackling soon on that. Um, just the fact that it's an older car and seals are starting to go, so um, I don't want to wreck anything. So, um, But like I said, I'll explain that in another video. Anyways, the Ram, let's get it in here, and let's get the computer hooked up and see what happens. So we have the truck back. It's back from the dealership. Um, and the battery is questionable. The battery starts the truck no problem, but apparently was throwing some sort of code um, <clears throat> according to HP tuners that said the battery was maybe a little bit low in voltage. So just to assist it, I have a brand new battery in this and I have the jumper cables going across. So that should give us plenty of power. Second thing, so I'm going to try to attempt to read the tune with HP tuners, pardon the dinging. Um, and a tip that was uh, mentioned by somebody is to leave the door open so that you know when you guys turn off your truck and the stereo and everything stays on and kind of the dash stays illuminated apparently when you cycle the key when you're doing a read on the HP tuners some guy was saying he's having an issue where if his door was closed that the dash would stay on you know how when you open the door everything on the dash and the stereo turns off um, he kind of led me off to that to say that I should um, try to read the tune with uh, with the door open. So we're gonna do that, even though it's dinging like crazy. And we have the power over there, so I'm gonna let this go. We're running B, uh, we're running the VCM editor beta version right now, which is able to read and identify the newest firmware that's my truck. And we're just gonna click read. So read entire, you guys can hopefully see this. Read entire and read calibration for the TCM. I'll click read. Okay, so we're getting most of the way through it right now. It says we have about 1 minute and 46 seconds for the ECM, the engine control module. So it's reading the engine tune that's loaded in it from the factory. And we got the door open. Uh, what else can I tell you? Got the door open. I've got uh, jumper cables hooked up just in case this battery decides to drain low. So um, all the factors are covered. I just hope that it... Uh, proceeds so um, let's let this finish up and see where it ends up all right so the engine ECM um, ended up completing and now it's doing this thing where it tells us to turn the ignition off and wait 10 seconds sorry for the blurriness while my camera decides if it wants to refocus I am just going to do this so that we are exact as possible so I'm gonna do a stopwatch and we'll run this when we turn it off. So we'll turn it off and then we'll wait 10 seconds. So 
this should be as accurate as possible. So there's 10 seconds, and we're going to turn it two clicks to the run position. And then, as per this instruction, we're going to click OK. So the engine control module completed. Now it says waiting 15 seconds before trying next controller. Let's see what happens. Okay, reading the TCM. Well, we might be in business here, guys. Dash blanked out. So I don't know why, but the dash blanks out and does this. Both the dash and the 8.4 you connect, they both go black during this read process. So I don't want to jinx anything right now, but it seems to be reading. So if this goes well, I might be a happy camper. So let's see if this finishes up and then we'll continue with our talk. Okay, so we are nearing the end here. It's gonna tell us the same thing where we have to turn the ignition off and wait 10 seconds. So let's go over here, turn this two clicks. So now we'll wait 10 seconds. And as long as this goes well. I don't even want to say anything. Let's just make sure it goes well. So there's our 10 seconds. Then we're going to turn ignition on. So two clicks. And then click OK. Boom. There we go, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and save that file and let's discuss. Alright guys, so I am happy to say that this is a better ending or at least, I don't, don't, I don't want to jinx it. Anyways, it's a better situation than what I thought we were going to be in. Um, I'm glad after the last day or so that um, I was having some issues reading. We managed to get a full read of the current uh, tune or stock tune or factory tune that's in the vehicle. So we managed to extract that. That's going to go off to Jay Green and he's going to... Um, use that as the base for the tune. So um, HP Tuners was recommending that we don't uh, just try to load up the old tunes because if there's any, what happened was there was some junk stuck in there with the Diablo Sport and we extracted or we did a read and Jay ended up doing the tune and sending it back to me. So what HP Tuners is a little bit worried about is if there's any sort of weird bugs or anything like that, if we load that old tune that Jay made based on the old read, it might push something to the computer and mess things up again. So uh, with the clean read, we're going to um, get a program, we're going to tune, and then hopefully if all goes well, guys, it will load, and then when it loads, we can put the supercharger on. I really don't want to have to come up with an alternative, whether it's selling the truck, trying to get another truck, or just moving on to a different project. Um, you guys know me, I'm pretty patient, but at the same time, if I can't tune the transmission on this truck, uh, I don't know if we're gonna go through with the whole supercharger, because it might be kind of pointless. Even just these trucks stock, if you tune the transmission, they turn into a rocket. So it would be kind of a little bit of a waste to procharge it, and then not be able to adjust the transmission shift points and all that stuff. So, anyways, Good news so far, keep your fingers crossed for me. Um, I should have an update here shortly. I'm hoping, and this is just my hope, I haven't really uh, dialed in whether this is gonna happen, but hoping I can get that tune back by the end of this week, before the weekend, and load it. And if it loads, then we'll install the Pro Charger Kit this weekend, and uh, we'll start having some fun. But that's the objective. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys like Instagram or Facebook, we're on there too, same spelling, at Boost Motorsports. But wherever you guys wanna follow along, it's cool with me. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.